tell me why he freaking loves this passage. Probably because it's super unsafe. He loves not knowing what's ahead of him. Kind of dangerous. Ciao, support. We're hitting top speeds now. I haven't checked how fast. I just caught a wood chip. I literally caught a wood chip. I have recorded my speed once on the skateboard and he was going 17 miles per hour. I do have the top speed run him. That would be pretty nice. I am trying to stop him from pissing everywhere. That was a good point someone said. I forgot my phone. Wow. There's a fire going on. I hope it's not my mixtape. Yo, right here, that's where we should clock in. Downhill, we're cheating. I'm actually gonna try and do these videos early in the morning, around seven or eight o'clock. Crypto loves to run in the mornings. Fuck you. Hey, watch out. I can guarantee you if I take this dog to cat heaven, he's gonna run it nonstop. His mind is triggered to kill and he doesn't know what endurance is. This is where we'll be doing the top speed run right here. Wait, crypto. Oh. You wanna to go to Cat Paradise? Mm, you wanna kill some kitties? You wanna beat them up? Mm. I feel you, dog, I feel you. Hopefully we don't run into that damn skunk and he sprays us with his duty hole. Go! Oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he literally lined up for the race. He sees a cat. He was about go, go. <laughs> he was about to give up. Oh shit! Go, boy, from top. Go. Oh, another one. Every corner we see a pussy. There's another one right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, Come on, hey, hey, crypto. He's going non-stop through cat heaven. I knew this was gonna happen. He's getting pretty good at commands. If you guys are wondering how to teach your dog how to mush, I do have videos on it already. Ooh, bunch of girls. A drone attacking kids. How predictable. We have to buy him his barf meal. Right now he's running on kibble. Sit. Good. Leave it. I think there's a fire going on over there. Crypto doesn't really care. We will be hosting a giveaway at 50,000 subs. I'll be giving away two gift cards. It could either be to Amazon, to Google Play, to Apple. You will need to go to the website down in the description. And after you guys have done the steps, the website will choose two winners. So all this website does is host giveaways. Go ahead and check out the description. Submit into the giveaway. I will be doing my very first giveaway. So make sure you guys enter for a chance to win. A lot of you guys ask, how did you get crypto? Did you buy crypto? How much was crypto? The story on how I got crypto was they originally gave us a female Siberian Husky and we didn't want a female. So we gave the female to one of my uncles. The uncle had the female for around two years and then he had a Siberian Husky straight from Russia over to impregnate her. And one of the puppies was crypto. So crypto was absolutely free. I did not purchase crypto. I didn't rescue crypto. Rescuing is always the best option, but if you do want to start from the beginning with your dog's lifespan, of course you're going to need a puppy. They're all right, I think. What type of dog is he? He's a Belgian Traverse. Oh, nice. Come here. Come here. <laughs> crypto. Would you pull him, please? Yeah. Thank you. God, boy, I grew up a Look at all that child support. Too much. Oh, here we go again. The audio. Break up with my bitch. You look like the couple noodles I just shit out last night. What the fuck are you doing, my bitch? My name is Anakin, motherfucker. As in, I am your father.
We are about to dye Crypto's hair. First step we're gonna need is to buy a bunch of coloring. Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid is perfectly fine. Let's get a bunch of red. One, two, three dollars worth of red Kool-Aid. Should be enough, right? Balls. What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. We got some conditioner, we got some tin foil, and we got a bunch of Kool-Aids. We will be dyeing this dog's hair. I want to say this in the head for all the people saying, oh, that's so mean, it's unsafe for your dog. Crypto doesn't give a damn. If you guys are thinking about dyeing your dog's hair for say Halloween, a special occasion, make sure you guys get the sugar-free Kool-Aid and any conditioner should do just fine. I went for the red one. I'm gonna start off by adding some Kool-Aid to the mix. A little bit of conditioner. You want it to be a slimy substance. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Way more. I've been wanting to dye Crypto's hair for quite some time now. I think I'm just gonna do the bottom of his feet. I might do his tail. Go ahead and mix the substance. I'm not sure how much it'll take. Let's make enough. It smells really nice too. If you're watching this and you're like a dog lover, dogs are freaking animals. People need to stop being so sensitive with their animals. If you wanted a freaking baby, go ahead and have a baby. These dudes are born killers. If you can't handle a little Kool-Aid being applied to a dog, you gotta get out of this video. It's looking real good. This is the first time I'll ever be doing this. We're gonna start. You wanna leave it on for about five minutes? This isn't to eat. Look at it, smell it. Oh yeah, you don't like that, huh? I was thinking about doing his ears, but I'm gonna go ahead and test this out first on his paws. See how things go. You wanna make sure your dog's clean before you do this. You can either use a toothbrush, anything will work just fine. Smell good, he's gonna be tongue punching himself all day today. Halloween Taliban is coming up. I'm not sure what I'll be dressing him up as, this red stuff will help. Oh yeah, look at that, dog. Now the problem with these dogs is that they have two undercoats, so make sure you peel all back and you get the undercoat as well. You want the inside fur to also be red. This is where this comes in handy. Hey, stay. Put that under your dog's workspace just so he won't get himself dirty. Oh yeah, this is gonna look freaking beast. You wanna just do this throughout the whole paw, so I'll get back to you guys once I'm done with the first paw. Boom, that's one of his paws done. We used four Kool-Aid baggies for one paw. Luckily, this dog's used to being treated like a little slut, so he doesn't really fight. I might just do his back legs. Let's see how his back legs look first. We started with his left legs. Covered everything except the bottom. There's no need to cover the bottom. Make sure you cover all the area you want to be colored. Let it rest for five minutes. After the five minutes, you're gonna want to rinse it off. Now we're gonna wait for five minutes. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. You got red feet? You got red feet? Come here, hurry, hurry. Now you're free. Had to put some bottom heels on him. He looks pretty freaking funny. Hello, Tero's coming. <laughs> really messy situation, so if you're planning to do this, make sure you have somewhere so you could tell. It looks like there was a massacre in this room. And all over me as well. It looks really weird. It looks like he has some soccer shoes on or something. Like if he has some cleats. Huh, crypto. Don't you dare howl. Total cost. The total cost to do this was $3 without the conditioner and the tin foil.
He's waiting for his response. His response will be... Nice little way to make your dog stand out for either Halloween or for any special event. Kool-Aid is by far the cheapest and safest way. You can make your dog look really weird. Look at him. We are currently recording with a stabilizer. I purchased this stabilizer a good while back before I started YouTube. Come on. Beast. It was so stable that his feet actually turned on fire. So shout out the Kool-Aid. Even the poles got painted red. No child support. Mm. No child support.